This movie is about UGR, Unified Glare Rate. I would like to show you on how to insert calculation points and calculation surface into a project. I'm going to show you also where you can find the results. So beside the results monitor on the right side, you can find them in the documentation. There you'll be finding additional information that can help you to understand your results. We want to verify the UGR, so the glare for the pupils as well as for the teacher's place. And all lights already installed. What we have to do is insert calculation objects. This could be either calculation surfaces or calculation points. I would like to start with the calculation surface and select just randomly one or two tables for the pupils. I have to define the UGR as the parameter for calculation and not the illuminance. So I'm deselecting illuminance and selecting UGR. I'm creating a rectangular calculation surface, for example, for this area. And let me verify the positioning. It's right on the floor, plus a 1 meter 20 height offset. I have here a step width of 15 degrees, which is the finesse of the calculation, which is how far we're going to calculate, and the viewing angle. So I could reduce that just to 180 degrees, which is from zero degrees, 180 degrees, so only regarding the view towards the whiteboard. And let's do the same thing for another place, probably here in the back. Like this. Height is okay. Verify the position. And additionally, I want to let you know that we have the possibility to change the measuring grid, automatically creating points here in this case are five and uh, we could change the quantity here by inserting another number or distance according to our opinion but let's go switch back to the automatic and again to 180 degrees for the teacher i would like to use a point so i'm not going to use the calculation surface but the calculation point again i'm switching to ugr instead of illuminance moving the point here from there to there by drag and drop. That's where the point is. Verify the positioning, inserting 120, which is reflecting the typical eye height. I could probably also insert a second one right in front of the whiteboard. If the teacher is standing, then I would be inserting here 1 meter 60, which is the standardized height for a standing person. Then I can run the calculation which should just take a few seconds. Once the calculation is done, we can see already in the results overview that most of the values are already in line with the regulations, which is shown by the green points, while here calculation point 2 has two red dots. It's in this place, and most likely it's due to the wall washers here directed at the whiteboard. Let's have a look at the documentation in detail. Here we have automatically some of the possible results. I want to have all the results which I can have access to when I click on the edit button. We have calculation surface 1 and 2, plus we have been inserting uh, the summary of the points, result summary of the surfaces, and we can close the edit. And have a look at the different results calculation surface one and two results overview so here we have values at 14 and some even below 10 there are no numbers given below 10 never and the threshold is 19 so you should never be higher than 19. we're looking at the ugr in detail you see the best result is highlighted with 13 here it's white the worst results are fat or bold letters 14 which are still below the maximum of 17 and the line which is the thickest one was marking the highest value and the direction if you're exceeding the threshold of 17 the lines would be red so let's have a look at the points then you will be able to see it so that's where the teacher is sitting he can expect highest glare from this direction which is probably something like 30 degrees or 15 degrees to the right. A strong value there it is written. 
345, 50 degrees. And here you see what I said before. When the values are exceeding the threshold of 19, then they're marked red. And again, it's from this direction here, strongest glare at 330 degrees. So if you want to change that, then you would have to modify the luminaires in this place, either by changing that position or the type. Or at least you could also change the point itself. I hope that helps you in using the UGR calculation surfaces and calculation points, and it helps you to understand the graphs that we are creating in Dialogs Evo.